wallet weekends are back but first let's hop into the legends this week last week we probably had the best legend drop all year and now we might have the worst clay matthews being your defensive set player nothing too crazy 88 speed is very slow considering we just got micah parsons with 92 speed jeff saturday this is probably the best legend of this drop at 93 overall center he is now the highest rated center by two overalls the next highest being russ grimm jeff saturday a pretty pretty good card important impactful upgrade i guess you could say in the meta keith jackson is your ltd an upgrade already from his campus hero and if i'm being honest he's just not a good card 89 speed is slower than kyle pitts it's even i think the same as delaney walker and he doesn't have great run blocking so uh, very mediocre card ability wise nothing too crazy on any of them i guess clay matthews under pressure for one ap and double or nothing for one ap is pretty good uh, but that's about it man i didn't really know how to start this video so we're gonna take a look at the market uh where it's at right now let me know by the way I think everyone had a great day yesterday in the market. Even if you bought training on Wednesday or over the past weekend, you made an absolute killing. So let me know how you guys did, how many coins you made on your investment. But taking a look at the market right now, it is a little bit down. That just being there's no LTD in the TV piece at the current moment. So training really was around 12 per 12.5 per unfiltered. It's down to around like 11, 11.5, just small baby margins, right? I know 86 overalls were 35K. They're 30, they're 30K right now unfiltered. Uh, 88 overalls were 65k yesterday they're around 60k unfiltered and 89s were 89k yesterday they're around 85k unfiltered of course you filter down they're a little bit cheaper than that if you do plan on re-rolling tomorrow for whatever reason i do suggest buying training right now uh your best bet is probably 88 overall all maddens they get listed very very frequently for around 50,000 coins it's a little bit under 11 per and it's definitely gonna be the cheapest you are gonna see today and tomorrow so for whatever reason uh, you should get your 88 overall all maddens right now but let's talk about what i did yesterday and what i still have in my binder as training investments so first off i sold every single 88 overall in my binder that being training investments legends and then also my aka investments for around 65k uh yesterday all 88 overalls are gone 89 overalls i sold every non team of the week eight player being legends uh, i think i had maybe a gridiron guardian for whatever reason Sold those guys all yesterday for 89,000 coins. 88 overalls, by the way, there's some team of the week. So you can see Hawkinson for 64.6, your AKAs. We'll get into what I'm doing with my team of the cards in a little bit. Uh, 87 overalls, I didn't really get the chance to sell them. I still have quite a few 87 overalls in my binder. Uh, any training that you have currently right now, I would just hold and wait and sell Saturday. It's going to be a theme for the next three weeks. Uh, the first day of a new LTD in the TVPs, you're going to want to sell your training off. And then when it's like the second day or there's no LTD in TVPs, you just kind of want to hold your training and just know whenever we get that new first day, new first LTD, training will just get a little baby spike. And that's when you're going to want to sell. But yeah, you can see still a bunch of 87 overalls still to sell. I also did quick sell quite a few 87s and 85s just to reroll for my stream. 86 overalls, it's a majority just being the Team of the Week 8 players. And once again, I'm combining those with the 88 or 89 overall Team of the Week cards. And I'll get into that. Trust me, I'll get into what to do with your Team of the Week investment. But if you have training at the current moment, just make sure you hold and just sell off tomorrow. But for the most part, I got rid of most of my training yesterday. All right, now we're getting into the Team of the Week investments. You can see I still have around, I want to say, 25 to 30-ish DeAndre Hopkins. Right now, he's going for 95 k about. I bought him on average for 71,000 coins. And the 86 overalls were like a, not a just uh, like on accident investment. However, I just bought a bunch of 86 overalls Wednesday night. They were the cheapest training for like 20,000. I bought an absolute crap ton. And uh, well, I'm using those now to combine. And remember last week, it was the Tracy Porter set that we were doing to liquidate our community investments and make a little bit more. This week, it's gonna be Devin McCordy. Right now, you can see the cheapest up there for 507. That actually does end up selling like while I'm recording this. It actually does up, ends up selling for 507. But Devin McCordy is the new Tracy Porter. I have sold, I think, eight to 10 ish so far, all the way up to 540,000 coins. I honestly thought I was gonna get banned last night because originally, you can see, you kind of see the pathway that I took. 495 was the first listing, and I kept upping it by like 10 to 15,000 coins. And I got all the way up to, I think it was 545k uh, that I sold. And here's the numbers. And I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about in, I can say, like, it really doesn't matter where the profit comes from. However, DeAndre Hopkins, 71k, I bought him for an average. He probably bought him for 70k. The 86 overalls, again, I bought for 20k. They're going for 27, 28k right now. Either way you put it, I personally was doing the sets for 340. And I'm getting back at least 450k after tax. So I'm making 110 at minimum for each of these sets. And 
uh, throughout the numbers, I'm able to do like 17 or 18 of these. Uh, I, I, once I get them all done, so making a crazy, crazy profit. And you could put the profit on the 89 overalls and say, oh, I'm making like 25, 30K per card. But also some of that profit is with the 86s just accidentally. But either way, the two week investments every single week, even though we did get a training bump this week, it was either way, I think the Devin McCourty was gonna be able to sell at 420, 450, and we would have made a killing all for 89 investments. But that's two week investments. Uh, like last week, Tracy Porter, this week, just do the Devin McCourty set. Now moving into what you can do right now, I have like one investment you guys can make as well as if you want to, this is something you guys can always do more of an active way to make coins and it's just flipping, right? Flipping is very simple, lazy selling. We also like to call it, you can see 88 overall is going for 59K right now. If you just filter down, buy under, let's say 51, 52K, flip for 59, make, you know, your two to 3,000 coins per card, do that 20 times every single hour, fill up your auction house and you'll make quite a lot of coins. That's just something you could always, always, always do i'm more of an investor i don't really like to be actively making coins like i said you know sit down in the auction house buy cards for an hour or two and then wait a few days and sell them off uh, but you can always 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 flip right now i'd recommend doing 86 overalls and 88 overalls since they're probably the most popular cards or overalls to buy for training just because even though 87s are technically a cheaper training ratio the lazy buyers don't like to scroll all the way down to the 87s they see the first card up to 86 they see emmett smith for thirty thousand coins they're like oh i gotta buy him so for example, just like a number, and this changes every day. All you gotta do to figure out the price is just go through only the quality. So tomorrow, 86 overalls are probably gonna be 32, 33K. So I would say buy under 27. However, today, I'd say buy under 24, 25,000, flip for 30 and make your two to 3K per card. But now let's get into the only investment I'm making this weekend. Just understand, we're not always making investments every single day. This weekend, Friday, you can kind of done yesterday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The only cards I am buying slash investing in is going to be your comp pass investing. That being your 78s, 79s, I'm buying them under 1.6K. A great thing for comp pass investing this week or this time, there is no most feared reroll, so there is no direct way to get high golds or low elites very easily. You're probably going to see more of a standard rise in price being the high golds in previous times with the non most feared rerolls in, in the store. They would go all the way up to four to five k right now you can buy them under one six i think at minimum they go to three five four k and then 80 overall or 81 overall players uh, last time they went from around 4.5 all the way up to eight to nine k uh, right now i love buying them under four thousand coins and once again i think they go to at minimum eight thousand coins the one thing with this investment is you do have to be on monday you have pretty much all of monday to sell these cards off of course probably the earlier the better however uh, once Tuesday hits, the profit margins really aren't there. So if you aren't available to be at your console or your companion app on Monday, uh, don't do this investment. However, if you are uh, and the cards sell relatively fast, you do have to lazy sell them. So they take a little bit to sell, but they're very consistent at when they sell. Uh, you can do this. I'm buying anywhere right now. I have like 130, 80, 81. So I probably want to get to 300. This is the first time that I've actually fully gone out. I want to see like how many cards I could sell in one day through the companion app on monday uh, since i have no other investments i'm making i might as well go all out for compass investing so again 80 81 golds or 81 low elites sorry uh, under 4,000 coins high gold 70 79 under 1.6k it's really the only investment i am making so you can put your entire focus into that market and to wrap things up i just want to talk about the ltd market and my mindset regarding ltd investing for uh, the foreseeable future uh, Fletcher Cox right now, as you can see, around 500k. I do think I have around six, I have six Fletcher Cox. I do think he's the best defensive tackle in the game. I think eventually he gets up to 550, 600 later this week, and he's just too good of a card to stay that cheap as an LTD. Uh, we can go into uh, Marvin Jones Jr. as well as Kevin Byard. I just want to talk about LTD investing for a little bit because I just don't see the benefits from it uh, that much, at least this year. Last year, LTD investing was very consistent and you made quite a lot of coins this year with almost every LTD being a reroll LTD. Um, and I know Kevin Byard wasn't, but the profit, the risk is outweighing the reward as of right now. Like every LTD is relatively cheap. Every LTD honestly is not the best card and they just don't go up enough to warrant the coins you're spending on them. Marvin Jones Jr. For example, uh, like i bought originally all mine for 415 i sold them all back for 460 if i'm being honest just to break even i lost like 5k on each card and it's just 
these cards are so inconsistent. Last year, you would be buying them the second day in the afternoon almost every single time, and they would be the cheapest. This year, it's like sometimes the first night they're the cheapest, sometimes the second night they're the cheapest, you know? Like Marvin Jones Jr., Fletcher Cox were both 400K. So if you bought them at 400K, you're, you're doing great, but you're not going to see many LTD, new LTDs down to 400,000 coins. I just don't think it's worth it. I would rather use my coins on AK investing, Team of the Week investing, Compass investing, or like training investments, rather than spending right 450, 420K for a card, sell it back for 520, make like 30, 40K after a week. It's just not really worth it. Uh, going forward, I think the only cards or LTDs I'm going to technically invest in are ones that I want for my team. And I kind of just use the loan system uh, for that. But yeah, like I sold all my Kevin Byers back. I pretty much just broke even on him, broke even on Marvin Jones. And Fletcher Cox, my six are for an average of 460. Uh, and I'm probably just going to break even on those. So I'd rather use the coins on other assets, other investments. That's all for this video. Comment if you have any questions. Like, for example, Keith Jackson, probably not going to invest in this weekend. Uh, like you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.